Morning Church. I'm so pleased to be able to bring this devotional to you this morning. It's a noisy world out there. Who knows how many voices we can hear on a daily basis. Sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they're not. We also have got the voices in our head. But words have the power that they can change us for better or for worse. If we constantly hear that we're a failure or that we're not good enough, we're not talented enough, we're not pretty enough or smart enough, then we eventually risk believing those lies and listening to those voices that give us wrong messages. These can cripple us. These voices can influence what we do in life and shape who we become. But God tells us to hear him above all others. In John 10 verse 27, it says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. We need to listen to God's voice above any other voice. We need to immerse ourselves in God's word. Make time every day to read Jesus. Memorise verses about God's love for you. Meditate on those words. You'll find them life-giving. Replace the lies you hear with God's promises. When you find, you find yourself thinking about or talking about or listening to things that don't line up with God's truth, take action. Declare all the good things that God has for you today and in your future. Use discernment in who and what you listen to. When you're listening to, affirming life-giving, hope-filled messages that line up with God's truth, you'll better be able to hear his voice when he calls you. Let God be the first one you go to for comfort, wisdom, insight and discernment. His truth is timeless and eternal and his guidance is always reliable. When you internalise God's truth, everything changes. Your confidence builds and you're immersed in God's love. And he will help you stand firm when everything else seems shaky around you. It helps us to build faith when we believe that God is who he says he is and that he will do all that he has promised to do, which is far more than we can imagine or think. God's truth is some, something that you can hold on to. So church, as we go into our day, let's listen to the right voices. Let's listen to what God says about us. Let me pray for you this morning. Lord, I thank you that you are a God that brings life. And Lord, I pray that we'll listen to your voice above every other, that you'll always be the one that we turn to when we need you. Lord, that you'll always be the one that we listen to rather than negative voices. We'll listen to the truth that you say about us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.